<laughs> oh no! I have it's a farting be like chair. That. <laughs> I have a farting chair. <laughs> it's the happiest chair I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're here with our friends. Um, Welcome to Movie Phone, unscripted. I'm Zoe Deschanel. I'm here with Jim Carrey. We're here to talk about our film. And I'm here with Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> so we've got that in yes, common. Yes, man. Yes. Fantastic. Yay. <clears throat> Love it. What was your favorite stunt in the movie? Oh! Oh! No. <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe you asked me that, Stephen, because uh, <laughs> this thing that happened uh, when I was, uh, I was doing a thing where I had to carry a bunch of stuff, and, I, and, and then when, uh, when I hit this certain place, I had to go, woo, and, uh, you know, upend, and, uh, and I, had to, uh, I had to come down pretty hard. And, uh, and uh, I, I try to be more specific. Uh, waiter scene. Okay, let's set the scene. We're in a bar. I'm in a bar. I've just seen my ex-wife, okay? And I turn around. I'm really creeped out. And I say something. I say, oh, I am gonorrhea. I'm at, uh, meaning I am out of here. Yet it came out wrong. Then I turn around, hit the waitress tray. I upend and I hit the floor. And I broke three ribs. Okay? Does that answer your question? Steven, thanks for bringing it up. Very f***ing painful. <laughs> Very painful. What musical would you want to make with Jim? So many. Yeah. It's hard to narrow down. Seven like Brides a, for Seven Brothers? Oh, yeah, we could be all seven. Oh, the women were sobbing, <laughs> sobbing, sobbing, fit to be tied. Love that stuff. Yeah, it's so what, good. What's your favorite musical? Um, I really, I mean, I love Singing in the Rain. I've also yeah. loved that one. Meet Me in St. Louis. Yeah. That, that's a beautiful yeah. one. Jesus Christ Superstar. Jesus or Godspell. Okay. All right. Or Grease. Yeah. Or, I don't know the Grease lyrics right, so much. Right, right, yeah. Women really know Grease. Right, right, right. Women are so into Grease. Into Grease. I was yeah. into Grease until I saw Alan Carr at the improv one night going, <laughs> Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I'm Alan Carr! I'm throwing a scarf. And I just went, I can't get into that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Um, Let's do a little scene from yeah. Jesus Christ Superstar. Okay. Okay, I'm sleeping. Okay. I'm I'm the Lord. Okay, I don't know this that well. You don't know that song? <laughs> Come on, no, just wait. a little bit. Jesus, wake up. Oh hi. How <laughs> Yay, you doing? That's wow. Good. Whew, I, I needed that. <laughs> All the lepers and stuff. I'm so tired. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Can you just tell him I'm not home? <laughs> Two questions. Mm -hmm. The first question is my question to you, which is <laughs> which is do you, <laughs> you are <laughs> do you have trouble throwing yourself like have you always had the ability to just throw yourself around and not break your bones like is that just like a talent that you have or did you have to work on it it's honestly like when i was a little kid i used to see things completely like the coyote in the roadrunner cartoons right, right. if i saw like a a crevasse or a crevice, or uh, or a crevice, uh, that I, you know, I would in in my head do drop that little Acme blueprint, right? And I would be able to tell whether or not I could do it or not, and oh, wow. and so I always saw things that way. So I know that I would have to, you know, in some way duck under these boom mics in right. order to leap over that. So you're kind of television. Like physics man. I do. I always think you ahead in physically. Your head. Yeah. yeah, wow. The only thing with that fall that I did was that I, I changed the plan in the middle in, of it. In the middle. That's yeah. why I broke my ribs. Right, right, right. Because I went, you know, let's get all the limbs up into the frame, and yeah. that was not the plan. And that wasn't the plan. Because no. I was astounded, like some of the things that you did, right before my very eyes. It was like Cirque du Soleil. Really? Yeah. I could have been in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, you really, you really could have. What is it in your family background? That, dri that drove you to be uh, involved in all these different creative endeavors, like I, movies right. and music and everything else. I think like when I was, like when I was such a little, such a tiny little girl, I 
wa- would watch musicals, and I was just, it was like, made me so feel so vibrantly alive. Like it was mm-hmm. like I just had to do that. It was like. It was. It was like it wasn't even an option. So mm. I, I think like it just something about that just sparked my personality. I felt the same way. In fact, yeah. Look at my feet. Yeah, you're like Fred Astaire. Check it out. Can you get a shot of that? <laughs> They've been doing that the whole time since we began. <laughs> it's crazy. Unbelievable. You're like. Yeah, just... and you'd never know it from here up. No. Because <laughs> yeah. like. Mirror the... dance. <laughs> what? Question: Would you secretly love to say yes to? My gosh, that's too complex in its uh, approach. I, what question would I like to say yes to? Are you, uh, are you pure light? Are you pure, pure atmospheric energy? Right. Are you, are you everything seen and unseen, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> That's you, really are, are and you, to be to be all, saying yes and for that to be true. Yeah, well, that's it is great. True. It is true. Because if you're saying yes, it's I always true. I have you right? surrounded right yeah. now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's good. We have you surrounded, <laughs> Tucson. <laughs> Tucson. Love Tucson. I do. I did a, a, a vision quest in Tucson. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, with the uh, Lakota tribe. And really? They took me up into the desert, in the high desert, and blindfolded me. I climbed really? a mountain blindfold, and they left me there overnight with nothing but a blanket and a little tiny knife this big for all the you know mountain What'd lions you do and with stuff. It? Uh, I just had incredible revelations. It was really? unbelievable. Yeah, it was amazing. And I didn't do the peyote, you know. I was just straight. I was just completely Get, getting left on a mountain. Yeah, that was trippy. That was trippy. Enough. Well, I was dying. I literally, <laughs> I had to spend all day long. It was 110 in the desert, and what? and there were vultures over my yeah. head. The whole deal. I was, I was. It was unbelievable. Oh my but gosh. I came up with so many answers, and and that's when, you know, I knew that you know, I was, I was meant to do this interview with you. Yeah, I know. Mm. I get like confused by like too many cups of tea so yeah like have you ever done like a sweat vision? lodge or? i've done a, i did a sweat lodge yeah. actually in in high school did you survive it i did i yeah. was like four hours in there yeah were it's you a, high no no oh, okay. no heavens no all right just but but it was <laughs> i gotta be careful who i hang with <laughs> it was it was it was actually yeah no it was very it was it was eye-opening yeah, yeah, it is. You yeah. come out of there like 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 you cry like, about things like, like you're a on an airplane. Dough. Yeah. You're all like exhausted and, and <laughs> yeah. steamed out. And your, your legs are like, <laughs> and you go and something hits you. This yeah. is like being born. And they yeah. go, well, that is the point. You are in the womb of the earth, and you are being born anew. Yeah. Well, good luck owning a casino. <laughs> Everybody who comes out of those things owns a casino eventually. Thank you, Jim. Movie phone. Thank you, Zoe. Movie phone. <laughs> Is that that's our last name? <laughs> we're here with Jim Movie Phone and Zoe Movie Phone, and uh, we're talking about what else? Movie phone. Thank you. All He's for Tony watching. Robbins with a rubber mask on. Sorry. I'm trying to do this script from Go the ahead. unscripted script. <laughs> Get out of my way! Make a better door than a window door, <laughs> window door. Oh, yeah. Recorder. Thank you all. Please go see Yes Man. <laughs> Do it. Do it for yourself and your family. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Carrey, ladies Zoe and gentlemen. Zoe Deschanel, movie Jim phone. Jim Carrey, <laughs> movie phone. At the Dick Cavett show, you know they they've got different he has collections. Some great but stuff. He had amazing stuff, and I there's like one Dick that's Cavett. like legends. Yeah. And the Catherine Hepburn one, she just came in to look at the studio, and then was like, "Let's do it now here." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, just "Why is that cameraman moving around?" <laughs> and she's like, "Sit." Why can't he sit still? <laughs> <laughs>